Now today I'm going to be using a recipe using their citrusy wheat beer, Grunt. And as you can expect, it's got quite a few citrusy flavours in there, but it's also got quite a lovely malty sweet backbone to it, which is going to go perfectly with the recipe I'm going to cook today. Now I'm going to do mussels in a Grunt tomato and chilli broth. So, kilo of mussels here, cleaned and scrubbed. We also have half an onion, thinly sliced. Half a can of chopped tomatoes. Two finely chopped cloves of garlic. A finely chopped red chilli. Now, I leave the seeds in because I love the heat and I love anything spicy, but you can de-seed them, that's up to you. If you don't want so much residual heat, then you can just have it, you know, without the seeds and you won't get so much fire. And also, last but not least, a tablespoon of tomato paste and of course we have our beer. Okay, let's get going. Okay, so to this pot, it's a deep, deep baked pot with quite a thick base on it. And I'm using an induction hob here to cook on. I'm gonna add some Irish rapeseed oil, just about two tablespoons. And we'll just let that heat up there for a couple of minutes. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna start by adding my onion. And also, I'm gonna add the garlic and the chili as well. I'm just going to soften those up. There's the chilli there. Now, you can see that these have softened quite nicely now and they're sizzling away here. Actually, making me start to cry a little bit. And so now what we're going to do is add in our tomato paste. And just like that. Stir in. We want to get rid of that raw taste of tomato, so it just needs cooking off ever so slightly. And now we're going to go in with our chopped tomatoes. A good stir. Now I'm not too worried about adding salt or pepper to this at the moment because the mussels are actually quite salty anyway, so I will leave the seasoning to the end. Now, in with the beer. Because I want this to be a broth, we could do with just that little bit extra liquid. There we go. So that's about 350 mils. And again, just give that little stir around. Let's have a look. Let's go in to our broth mixture and just give them a little stir around to get them covered in your chili and tomato broth. I'm only going to cook these for about three minutes, so they don't take very long. On with a tight fitting lid, we leave those for about a minute and a half, first of all. After they've been cooking for about a minute and a half, give them a really good shake. The lid up and get them covered. And you'll see actually through the glass lid, if you have one, that they're actually starting to all open up now. So while your mussels are finishing cooking, if you want to garnish them with anything, I like lemon and parsley, so we'll just cut up lemon and quarters. It's just lovely to have that little squeeze of fresh lemon at the end just to bring out that lovely citrusy taste that complement the beer really really well. Our mussels are done and ready to serve. It's a really really quick dish to do so if you, you, you know you wanted to do it as a starter or a main course it's just such a simple tasty dish. Now just label our mussels and our broth into a nice serving bowl. See, it's just so vibrant. Reminds you of summer. Not that we've had much of summer. Another good rock over the top. I've got quite a lot in there anyway, but there we go. And pretty much serve immediately.